O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Kicking off uh, another week here. Don't make assumptions. Assume nothing. In any kind of relationship, we can make the assumption that others know what we think and we don't have to say what we want. We assume that they are going to do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and we think, how could you do that? You should know. Get rid of the gray, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 404, NASDAQ up 59, S&P's up 34. Gold, gold contract down $3.90, traded at 1972 an ounce. We have silver down 52 cents, $23.19 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 56, down 56 cents, $82.26 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note flat, 111.04. The 30 year down 14 ticks at 121.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 25 ticks, trading 102.042. Euro is at 110. Yen is at 142. British pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Well, we'll go into the futures first. We'll take a look. If you, we just did that update, the futures just, it had a spike and did, <laughs> it's pretty amazing, actually. The spike got it right to the 0.618 of the, you can see that green line. That's the 0.618 of the downdraft on Friday. Now, when you first do a 0.618 retracement, right, the next leg down normally doesn't take out the low. I mean, you know, I'm basically bisected and dissected this on, a, on an intraday basis, but that's how this works out, folks, okay? So I suspect it's going to try to test it right now. That's the 4536. Uh, we actually, well, I mean, now let me just see something. We, we just went to, let's see what this is. This one here. Put it this way. I believe we just tested it, actually. That's what we just did. Okay, so we made on this one 45, 35, 25. Yeah. So more than likely, that was the test. Let me see how many minutes we got here. Yeah, you get nine minutes. So that was on. So we were going into 27,000 contracts. This is 16,000 contracts. Yeah, so this looks to me like that was the test. Yeah, it is. Now, so we'll see how this baby shakes out now because what you have, uh, this is where this gets intriguing now. <laughs> so watch this. The volume is actually down at 45.19, and we actually get an ABC structure down that is still there from Friday. It's a complex one now because we went on the other side of the B. If I bring up the SPY, you're going to see how this works out. Bring up the SPY, what you're going to see out here is that on Friday, market gave it up in spades. The B point out here was that 447. You needed uh, 64 million shares. We ended up with 100. Bottom line is that now you're on the other side of the B. You're coming back up with light volume, and that's what, you know, bottom line is saying that, okay, it's a complex one, so it, as long as you... Go back up with light of volume. That ABC is still in place. And as long as it doesn't get above that, that 452, which would be the, the let's see, 452.89, which is a C point. And the X100. Let's go take a look at the Qs, the three Qs. Three Qs out here, they're, they're the same setup. They're moving up. You got a contraction of volume in a monster way. The Qs did reject uh, 371 out here this morning. You're trading 374. That's, that being said, you know, now the Qs, yeah, the Qs did an ABC down too. So the bottom line is that this is still a complex ABC also. You know, we're going into a f 61 million shares. You get 31 right now. We go to the notes and bonds. We take a look at the 10-year note and bond because they're both the 10 and the 30, folks, okay? The bottom line is that the, the 10, if we take a look at the 10, the 10 basically saved itself 
Well, first what it did, it blew apart the bottom of the consolidation. Then, bottom line, on, on Friday, this thing went from uh, 109.24 to 111.10, which is a monster number, by the way, okay, for 10, for the 10 year. So that's it, back inside the range again. Then it'd have to build cars, move sideways, go back and forth in order to get the higher price. We look at the 30. Now, the 30 has a lot of work to do because the 30 blew its consolidated low out a long time, not a long time ago, but it, 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 30 has to get above 122.30. Uh, 30 had gone, had a good day on Friday, went from 119.25 to 122.09. That being said, that has to get back inside the 122.30 area. And then we get over to King Dollar. King Dollar's the number here, man. King Dollar, you know, we'll see whether, you know, this is pretty close. It could be setting up an ABC up. That's the way this thing is looking. You know, your first swing point up here is the 101.572. But it looks to me like uh, the way this is setting up right now, we very well could get to the next one, which is 104.699, uh, which would be, uh, that would be some heavy pressure on the markets. And then we go to the gold contract. Gold contract, you know, bottom line, I do the gold report on Mondays. You know, this gold you know, bottom line, is not done going down yet. You get gold, you're down 390 right now. You do have light volume. Rejected lower price on Friday. You know, we had, we got to 19, we got to 1954 on Friday. You had volume out there of 156,000 contracts. Yeah, this is not done, man. That's the bottom line. That's telling me that the dollar's not done going up uh, yet either, okay? Because you get that co the correlation, man. I mean, gold just went from the price point of 2028. It's getting close to the bottom of the consolidation. A few of the gold stocks actually blew out the bottom of the consolidation. And, you know, most of them are okay, but they're, they're very close to uh, basically going the next leg down. Because if they blow out this consolidation, uh, then you've got to get out of the way. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Some of the high-volume equities out here. You got uh, Tesla down 4 bucks. We have uh, Amazon up 236. You got, uh, let's see, what else we got here? Well, we're going to have our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, coming back next. You just stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.